Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about or play games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey in the last episode. Bowser kidnapped Peach, again, and we got our hat broken but it was replaced by Cappy, our new companion. And in this episode we're just going to continue on forward, we're in the Waterfall Basin, and we're in the Cascade Kingdom. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this adventure brings us. So yeah, we can capture stuff, as you've seen in the last episode. We're gonna capture this chain child, and we can send it flying right towards that little rock there. And that unlocks our first collectible. The Power Moon. Multi-moon atop the falls. Oh, we found a power moon. What a lucky break. This will come in handy to power the airship. Have you ever seen anything like it? So yeah, we got our first uh, power moon and a multi-moon. I'll explain in a little bit. But first we need to see this cutscene. Ah, there it is. This is what we were looking for. It's looking a bit more rough than I'd expected. Ah uh, no, it's just an older model. I'm certain it can still fly. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that globe there. Huh, nothing's happening? That power moon must not have given the ship enough energy. I wonder if we can find more around here. So yeah, we need to collect more power moons, and the multi-moon, as I explained, or as I was going to explain, it's kind of like a grand star from Mario Galaxy, if you've ever played that game. I act like it's some, like, hidden, obscure game, but no, it's one of the, like, it's a really good game, so I suggest you go play it if you haven't already. But yeah, it's basically like a grand star, where it's an all-powerful, like, collectible. I think originally it was going to be called a Grand Moon, but then they changed it to Multi Moon because that would have just been like too similar to Grand Star. Anyways, new area here. This seems interesting. When we go into the 8 bit pipe, we turn 8 bit. Is that not cool or what? Like, Nintendo has had some references to like where you can turn into 8-bit Mario in the past. This is really cool. Next checkpoint. Uh, I didn't even grab that. Uh, Fossil Falls Heights. You need to play a bit of pool here, I guess, or billiards, depending on whatever you call it. With the chain chomps, you have to knock one into the other, and then that can help you access your goal. Get a little heart just in case we took any damage, and it's time for our first true boss fight. What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship? Why, I can never par with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompkins. Or chompykins, I guess. So this is Madame Brutal and her chain chomp. It's a pretty easy boss fight, all things considered. I mean, this is the first, like, real world. You just knock the hat off of the chain chomp and knock it into her face. You'll get angry and throw it. I think you can I think you can knock the hat off there if you time your hat well enough. But I'm not that good at this. I haven't played it in a while. So we'll just continue on like normal. Now she's getting super angry. Her eyes have turned yellow, which I'm no doctor, but that can't be good for you. Well, Mario has been a doctor in the past. But anyways, we just want to keep getting away from her. And we won! <laughs> it's time to collect our first multi-moon.
You got a multi moon. Multi moon atop the falls. You've done it! And now we've got a multi moon. It's as strong as three powder moons combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me at that globe! Still, he keeps saying can't. But if we throw the... If we throw Cappy at the globe, the power moons will go up there. But we only have four. I think there are still more power moons we can find. Let's have a look around. Luckily, uh, you don't have to look far to find another multi moon. Not a multi moon, a power moon. You can just grab one up here. Also, when you grab a normal moon, because there are like story moons and multi moons, and in that, Mario has a special animation. But if you just grab one that's out in the blue, then he Mario does one of three like hand signs with his hand when he collects it. He does a peace sign, which is a reference to Super Mario 64. He does a fist, which is a reference to Galaxy, and an open hand, which is a reference to Sunshine. I think I'm getting that right. I know the peace sign is 64. I just don't remember if the open and closed fist is a reference to sun Sunshine or if it's a reference to Galaxy. Whichever it is, we got the moon. And now we can go on to the next kingdom. The Odyssey is restored. Enough fuel. We. Okay, I just said that completely wrong. We have enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those two. Why don't you take the helm? Just select the Sand Kingdom and press A, and we'll be off. Let's go. This game is so cool. So, how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip. Ground pound. To smash blocks or enemies below you, or to flatten out bumps in the ground, nothing beats the ground pound. Press ZL in midair to do a ground pound and pulverize your with your posterior. Well, there it is. If you need some more review, you might want to look at the action guide. Then we get this little section here, where we can look at controls, basic actions, capture actions, and bonus travel hints. So we go to controls, it's pretty basic, we just get one of those obvious, like, here you go, this is what you use to run, this is what you use to jump. And then there are two player modes where you can play as either Mario or Cappy and do stuff like that. There's basic actions, which is a couple of simple things that you can do. There's rolling now, which I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. There's a uh, hold and throw, and it's got some 8-bit stuff too. We've got dash and enter pipe. This is all really cool. We have capture actions, which just shows what you can do when you're capturing some sort of creature. Bonus travel hints, uh, that's just telling you, hey, if you're lost, 
Uh, you can do stuff like that, and also some extra stuff like Balloon World, which I'll get to later, and playing in VR. So yeah, this game's got everything, pretty much. It's always there for your perusal. Just open the menu with plus and select action guide. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom, too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand, and, as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there are some runes there, and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people together forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. I don't know how I got through that entire sentence without stuttering. Sand Kingdom. Toasterina. Atop the highest tower. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? The top of that tower is shining, but how could that be? Could it be a power moon? Whatever it is, I'm excited. And Mario's cold. In the next video, uh, I should do my outro properly, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and end off the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the next video, we're gonna continue on in the Sand Kingdom, see what's shining atop that tower, and just find our way around the place. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye